This video is sponsored by Rise of Gunpla, the first Bandai shop in France. Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. So if you're into Gunpla, you already know how fun and rewarding it is to build your own model kit. But have you ever thought about taking it to the next level? For today's video, we'll be talking about diorama making for Gunpla. So if you've been a subscriber or you've seen some videos of mine, you might notice that I love diorama making a lot. I haven't done many this year, but I have a playlist where you can watch all of my previous diorama builds. Links all down below. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is a diorama? Well, a diorama is a miniature scene or model that is created to represent a specific moment or action, whether from real life or from movies and shows. You can create an entire world around your gunpla, adding depth and context to your creation. Basically, a diorama is a great way to showcase your gunpla models. It could be anything from a cityscape, a battle scene, a nature scene, or even a space setting, complete with hangar bases and space colonies. It's a way to create an immersive experience around your gunpla models. So I know that diorama making can be a bit intimidating at first, but let me tell you, it's not as hard as you might think. All you need is a little bit of creativity, patience, and the right materials. But why make a diorama for your gunpla? Well, it adds life to your creation. It's no longer just a model sitting on your shelf. It's a part of a bigger story. Creating dioramas for your gunpla can be a really fun way to display your models, add depth to your collection, and really bring your models to life. It's also a great way to showcase your modeling skills. Dioramas also allow you to personalize your displays, making them entirely your own. And let's face it, Building dioramas can be a fun and rewarding hobby on its own. Now, as you might have noticed already, this video is not a tutorial on how to make your diorama, but it's a guide to introduce you to the exciting world of diorama making. So keep a lookout as I will be doing a video wherein you'll get a more detailed look into the step-by-step -step process on how to make your own gunpla diorama. So while watching this video, start thinking about the kind of diorama or vignette you want to create, and feel free to share your ideas in the comments below. So anyways, there are a few things you'll need to consider before you start building your diorama. Firstly, it's important to think about the theme or story you want to tell. This could be anything from a battle scene to a desert landscape or even an urban cityscape. Once you have your theme in mind, you can start planning the details and elements to include in your diorama. Another important consideration is the size and scale of your diorama. This will depend on the size of your gunpla model and the level of detail you want to add. You'll also need to consider the materials you'll need such as XPS foam, acrylic paints, and a range of other modeling supplies. So diorama making can be time consuming and requires a lot of attention to detail, but trust me, the results are worth it. Diorama making doesn't have to be complex or expensive either. With some creativity and a few key techniques, you can create a stunning backdrop that showcases your models to their full potential. So now, before this video ends, let's dive into some basic tips to help you get started with creating your own diorama. So number one, find inspiration. If you're struggling to come up with a concept for your diorama, take some time to browse the internet or look for references in your favorite animes and movies, or do a scene directly from the Gundam shows. There's a different satisfaction you get from seeing your favorite Gundam scene come to life. Number two, plan ahead. Before you start buying materials and making your diorama, it's wise to plan ahead and determine the scale of your project. Planning ahead when making a diorama is crucial because it helps you visualize and organize your ideas before diving into your project. So one of the best ways to plan your diorama is by sketching it first. Sketching allows you to experiment with different layouts, compositions, and placement of the gunpla within your diorama. 
You can identify problem areas and adjust them before starting to build the actual diorama. In summary, planning ahead and sketching before starting a diorama project can save you time and materials, prevent frustration and mistakes, and ensure you create a finished product that matches your vision. Number 3. Use different textures and materials. Be sure to use different materials such as sand, gravel, texture paint, and plaster. Using different textures in a diorama adds visual interest and depth to the scene. When multiple textures are incorporated, our eyes are drawn to each detail, even subconsciously. This gives the diorama a more realistic and believable look and feel as it mimics the natural diversity of the real world. Number 4. Add small details. Adding small details to a diorama is crucial because they add realism and depth to your scenes. Think of the world around you, as the small details like litter on the street, cracks in the pavement, and variations in the terrain that make the environment feel real and believable. In the same way, adding small details to your diorama can bring your gunpla to life and make it feel like it's a part of a larger, more realistic world. These details could be anything from rocks, plants, or rubble, to graffiti, posters, or street signs. By paying attention to these small details, you can create a more immersive and believable environment that will help your model stand out and look more impressive. It's also important to note that the small details you add should be relevant to your theme or setting. For example, if you're creating a post-apocalyptic wasteland scene, you might add broken or rusted vehicles, bullet holes, and other signs of destruction. On the other hand, for a futuristic city scene, you might add holographic ads or sleek modern architecture. Overall, adding small details is an important part of diorama making because it helps create a more cohesive and believable scene, making your gunpla stand out and impress. So lastly, take your time. Creating a diorama requires a lot of time and patience. Don't rush the process and make sure that you enjoy the experience fully. Taking your time when making a diorama is important to achieving a high-quality, realistic end product. Rushing through the creation process can result in a lackluster or incomplete diorama that doesn't do justice to your fantastic gunpla models. The diorama is not just a background for your models. It's an essential component of the overall storytelling aspect of your display. Therefore, it's necessary to pay attention to details and give each step the necessary time it deserves to bring your vision to life effectively. Adding details such as texture, weathering, or even the correct paint application will take some time and patience when doing so. So if you're in a hurry to finish, details might be overlooked or poorly executed, thus hindering the final result. With more time spent on each element, you can ensure that your diorama will have a more complete and professional look. Additionally, take some time to research your subject and gather inspiration before creating the diorama. This way, you can build a complete environment not only highlighting the gunpla model, but also its storyline or concept. Remember, diorama making is a journey that requires artistic passion and attention to detail to create something unique. So be patient, take your time, and enjoy every step of the way. The result will be worth the effort. With these tips in mind, you are now one step closer to creating your own diorama. But don't be discouraged if it doesn't turn out perfect on your first attempt. Practice makes perfect, and not every diorama will be a masterpiece. However, with each diorama, you will learn and grow as a modeler. And that's it for today's video. I hope it helped inspire you to start creating your own custom diorama for your Gunpla collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Gunpla content. And remember to stay tuned for our upcoming tutorial where I walk you step by step on how to create a diorama for your Gunpla. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!